Imagine a star so colossal it dwarfs our sun. A celestial titan glowing with a fiery red hue in the night sky, captivating stargazers for centuries. This is Betelgeuse, the red supergiant nestled in the constellation Orion, a cosmic beacon visible to the naked eye from over 600 light years away. Its immense size and radiant glow have long made it a symbol of the universe's grandeur. But now, it's stealing the spotlight for an entirely new reason. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced window into the cosmos, has just detected something extraordinary. Betelgeuse's brightness has surged by an astonishing 250% in mere weeks. This isn't just a flicker in the night sky. It's a cosmic event that set the astronomical community ablaze with excitement and questions. Is this the prelude to a supernova, a cataclysmic explosion that could outshine the full moon? Or is Betelgeuse revealing secrets about the final chapters of a star's life that we've never understood before? Buckle up, because we're about to dive into a story that's as thrilling as it is profound. A tale of a star on the edge, a telescope rewriting history, and a universe that refuses to stop surprising us. Let's start with Betelgeuse itself, a star that's hard to ignore. If you've ever looked up at Orion's constellation on a clear night, you've likely spotted its reddish glow, marking the hunter's shoulder. Betelgeuse isn't just big, it's gargantuan. Its radius stretches nearly 700 times that of our sun. If you placed it at the center of our solar system, it would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, reaching nearly to Jupiter's orbit. Its luminosity is equally staggering, shining over 10,000 times brighter than the sun. But what makes Betelgeuse truly fascinating isn't just its size or brightness. It's the fact that it's a star in its twilight years. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is in the final stages of its life cycle, a phase where massive stars become unstable, their interiors roiling with turbulent forces. For decades, astronomers have known that Betelgeuse is destined to go supernova, an explosive finale that will scatter its essence across the galaxy. The question has always been, when? Some estimates suggest it could happen within the next 100,000 years, a blink in cosmic time. But this recent 250% surge in brightness has sparked a tantalizing possibility. Could the end be closer than we thought? The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is the hero of this cosmic detective story. Launched to peer deeper into the universe than ever before, JWST is a marvel of engineering. Equipped with cutting-edge infrared technology that allows it to see through the dust and gas that often cloak stars like Betelgeuse. Unlike the Hubble Space Telescope, which excels in visible light, JWST's infrared vision is perfect for studying red supergiants, whose cool surfaces emit much of their light in the spectrum. When astronomers pointed JWST at Betelgeuse, they weren't expecting to witness a star suddenly glowing 2.5 times brighter than before. This wasn't a gradual change, it happened fast, over just weeks, a timescale that's practically instantaneous in the life of a star. The discovery sent shockwaves through observatories worldwide, with scientists scrambling to understand what's happening inside this stellar giant. So, what could cause a star like Betelgeuse to flare up so dramatically? The answer lies in the chaotic nature of red supergiants. These stars are like cosmic pressure cookers, their interiors a turbulent mix of fusion reactions and convective currents. One leading theory is that Betelgeuse experienced a massive convective event, a giant bubble of hot gas rising from deep within the star to its surface. Think of it like a boiling pot of water, but on a scale so vast it defies imagination. If this bubble burst through the star's outer layers, it could expose hotter, brighter regions, boosting its luminosity. Another possibility points to Betelgeuse's history of mass loss. Back in 2019, the star made headlines when it mysteriously dimmed, an event now attributed to a dust cloud formed from material it ejected. This dust temporarily blocked its light like a cosmic curtain. The recent brightening could be a rebound effect, where newly ejected material is illuminated by the star's intense radiation, amplifying its glow. A third theory involves Betelgeuse's magnetic field, a poorly understood force in red supergiants. If the star's magnetic field suddenly restructured, it could trigger a surge in energy output, lighting up the star like a celestial flare. 
Each of these hypotheses offers a glimpse into the complex inner workings of a star on the brink. Red supergiants are notorious for their instability, shedding mass at a staggering rate as they expel gas and dust into space. This material doesn't just vanish, it becomes the raw material for new stars, planets, and even the building blocks of life. Betelgeuse's recent behavior suggests it might be shedding mass more aggressively than usual, a sign that it's approaching a critical turning point. If it's losing material faster, it could be priming itself for a supernova, where its core collapses under its own gravity, triggering an explosion so powerful it could be seen from Earth in broad daylight. At roughly 642 light years away, Betelgeuse poses no danger to us. Its distance ensures we're safe from its explosive finale. But the spectacle would be unlike anything in recorded history. A cosmic fireworks show that could dominate the sky for weeks or even months. The implications of this event stretch far beyond Betelgeuse itself. A supernova in our galactic backyard would be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for science. It would allow astronomers to study the death of a massive star in real time, capturing data on everything from the shockwaves of the explosion to the heavy elements it scatters into space. These elements, carbon, oxygen, iron, are the seeds of planets and life, forged in the hearts of stars like Betelgeuse. By watching this process unfold, we'd gain insights into the cycle of cosmic creation and destruction that shapes the universe. But even if Betelgeuse isn't about to explode, its current behavior is a goldmine for researchers. The star's erratic nature challenges our models of stellar evolution, forcing us to rethink how massive stars live and die. Every pulse, every outburst, every shift in brightness is a clue to the physics governing these celestial giants. JWST isn't the only tool watching Betelgeuse. A global network of observatories, from the Very Large Telescope in Chile to the Hubble Space Telescope, is tracking the star across the electromagnetic spectrum. By combining data from visible light, infrared, and radio waves, scientists are building a detailed picture of Betelgeuse's atmosphere, temperature, and chemical composition. These observations reveal a star in constant flux, its surface roiling with massive convective cells, and its outer layers shedding material in dramatic bursts. This coordinated effort underscores the importance of Betelgeuse as a natural laboratory for studying the end stages of massive stars. Each new data point refines our understanding, helping us predict not just Betelgeuse's fate, but the behavior of countless other stars across the galaxy. But let's step back and consider what a supernova would mean for us, the stargazers on Earth. Imagine walking outside one night and seeing a star so bright it rivals the moon, casting shadows and dominating the sky. For weeks, it would be a fixture in our lives, a reminder of the universe's raw power and beauty. Ancient cultures revered Betelgeuse as a symbol of strength and mystery, and a supernova would cement its place in human history. It would spark wonder and curiosity, drawing new generations to the study of the cosmos. Social media would light up with photos and videos, hashtags like hashtag Betelgeuseboom trending worldwide. For scientists, it would be a career-defining moment, a chance to witness a phenomenon that hasn't occurred in our galaxy since the 17th century. Yet, the cautious side of science reminds us not to get too carried away. Red supergiants are unpredictable, capable of dramatic swings in brightness without necessarily signaling their end. The 2019 dimming event taught us that Betelgeuse can surprise us without exploding. This 250% brightening, while extraordinary, might simply mark another phase of instability. The star could continue to pulse and flare for centuries before its final act. Still, the scale of this event is undeniable. Something significant is happening, and it's happening now. Astronomers are on high alert. Their telescopes trained on Betelgeuse, waiting for the next clue in this unfolding cosmic drama. Beyond the science, Betelgeuse's story resonates on a deeper level. It's a reminder of the universe's restless energy, a place where nothing stands still. Stars are born, live chaotic lives, and die in spectacular fashion, their remnants seeding the cosmos with new possibilities. Betelgeuse embodies this cycle, a star that's both a relic of the past and a harbinger of the future. Its light, traveling for over 600 years to reach us, carries the story of a star that was already ancient when humanity first looked to the skies. Now, 
as it flares brighter than ever, it's capturing our imagination in ways few other celestial objects can. The broader context of JWST's discoveries adds another layer to this saga. Since its launch, the telescope has been rewriting our understanding of the universe. Its early data revealed galaxies forming far earlier than expected, some just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These findings challenge our models of cosmic evolution, suggesting that the universe was a busier, more complex place in its infancy than we realized. Now, with Betelgeuse, JWST is showing us that even nearby stars can surprise us, their behavior defying our predictions. The telescope's ability to peer through dust and capture faint infrared signals is unlocking new details about the cosmos, from the birth of galaxies to the death throes of stars. This brings us to a bigger question. What does Betelgeuse's transformation tell us about our place in the universe? If it goes supernova, it will be a stark reminder of our smallness in the grand scheme, a single star's death outshining entire galaxies in our sky. Yet, it also highlights our unique ability to observe, understand, and marvel at these events. Humanity's curiosity has built tools like JWST, allowing us to probe the mysteries of stars and galaxies billions of light years away. Betelgeuse's story is a bridge between the cosmic and the human, a tale of a star that's both distant and deeply personal. Its light has traveled across centuries to reach us, and now, as it flares brighter, it feels like a message from the cosmos, urging us to keep looking up. The public's fascination with Betelgeuse is no surprise. Social media platforms like X are buzzing with posts about the star, with users sharing theories, memes, and awe-inspired comments. The hashtag hashtag Betelgeuse has become a rallying point for amateur astronomers and curious minds alike, amplifying the excitement around this discovery. This surge in interest reflects a universal truth. The cosmos captivates us because it's both beautiful and unknowable. Betelgeuse, with its fiery glow and unpredictable behavior, embodies that allure. Whether it's on the verge of a supernova or simply showing off its volatile nature, it's a star that demands our attention. As we wait for more data, the astronomical community is united in its focus on Betelgeuse. Every fluctuation in its brightness, every shift in its spectrum, is a piece of the puzzle. JWST's infrared observations are just the beginning future studies will combine data from radio telescopes, X-ray observatories, and even citizen science projects to paint a fuller picture. This collaborative effort is a testament to humanity's shared quest for knowledge, a reminder that science is a collective endeavor, driven by curiosity and wonder. In the end, Betelgeuse is more than just a star. It's a story. A story of cosmic cycles, of creation and destruction, of a universe that's alive with change. Its recent brightening is a chapter in that story, one that's still being written. Whether it explodes tomorrow or a thousand years from now, Betelgeuse is teaching us about the forces that shape the cosmos. It's a reminder that the universe is not a static backdrop, but a dynamic stage where stars live, die, and give birth to new possibilities. So, the next time you look up at Orion, find that reddish star glowing on the hunter's shoulder. That's Betelgeuse, a cosmic giant with a tale to tell. And right now, it's shining brighter than ever, inviting us all to witness its next act.